Et maintenant, s'il vous plaît, je vous demanderai des applaudissements pour accueillir une paire qui nous vient du Danemark, Line Dansker Kreuze, associée à Marie Rocke.
Ladies, time. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Imogen Bankier, Scotland, and Pataya Nidalceva, Bulgaria. And on my left, Yumi Murayama and Yuki Anai, Japan. Imogen Bankier served to Yuki Anai, Raoul, flight. So we've reached the fourth match of our semi-final streaming schedule of five matches here at Babington Europe TV. And in green, One representing stop. Bulgaria and Scotland, Petya Nedelcheva and Imogen Bankier. And for Japan, Yuki Anai and Yumi and Moriyama in white. One all. The Japanese effectively without, without a world ranking. Not regular tour players, but um, surprisingly, these players have met before, but it was last year here at the French International. With Bankier and Nedolcheva victorious in two games. But it's been a lean spell for a pair that have had a lot of badminton between them. Certainly, Imogen Bankier. Calling on all Two, her physical one. and mental reserves these days, doubling up in women's doubles, Petya. And of course, partnering Kirsty Gilmore for the Commonwealth Games coming up in the summer in Glasgow. Oh. And also, Two, all. mixed doubles for Bank here alongside Robert Blair. Had a quarter-final defeat last week at the Polish Open. Went out in the first round of the All England and the German Open in the women's doubles. We're back here. Won the mix, of course, alongside Robert Blair. Last Three, win two. came in a hat trick of wins. The beginning of this 2013-14 season, back in September, when they won the Czech, Belgian, and the Kharkov Internationals Three, in successive weeks and of course this time last year semi-finalists here and then winning the following week in Finland So it's been a really exhausting schedule for Imogen Bank here and speaking to her in the hotel and before this match. She's, she is feeling it. She's quite openly ad admitted that. It's been a hard struggle. But uh, in a championship year with Commonwealths and Europeans coming up in a few weeks. Four, three. Such are the demands on these athletes. The Japanese took down Audrey Fontaine and Emily Lafell in the, the earlier quarterfinal in three games. And again, Four. three games against Four. Johanna oh. Golisewski and Karla Nelte from Germany. 
in the second round. Thank you, Arnett Olcheva. Easy winners of our Pirin Le Bohemic and Amtran of France, 5 and 12. And literally have coasted Five. through to this semi final. 13 and 11 victory over Mike and Fulga and Sarah Tigerson in the second round. So it's Nedo Cheve and Bankier who will be hot favourites to take this match. So it's over. Five all. Service fault called, service over, six, all. You have to go all the way down to page 18 of the world rankings to find the Japanese pair. And they've effectively just played two tournaments. They played here last year and uh, in Poland last week. Are defeated in the first round on each occasion. So this is a huge step up for the Japanese pair. Ranked 410 of the world, which is effectively no ranking considering they've just uh, amassed two tournament ranking scores of 920 points for a first round defeat in each of those two challenges so a semi-final here best that they have done as a pair but certainly at 410 in the world Boxing way below their weight. The result between these pairs last year, 16 and 16 in two games. So you can uh, take that as an indication of the quality of the Japanese. Six minutes gone, eight all. Sorry, you can. You can. Poor drop from Petya. Way too much air on it as it came over the net. Nine all.
11-9, Inquo. To the interval lead for Bankier and Nedolcheva, the 11 9. Interesting, no coach. Knowing that both Scottish and Bulgarian coaches are here this week. Two, 20 seconds. For two, 20 seconds. <laughs> 11, 9. Play. Twelve nine. Yeah. And after matching each other point for point all the way up to nine all. It's three in a row that has taken Bank here and Blair and Blair and Edocheva. My apologies to Petya calling her Robert Blair. I hope she doesn't play this back and hear that. But uh, takes them into a commanding lead. 13-9. Fourteen nine. It's a pity the Japanese couldn't uh, find some shirts that actually fit them. They look like they're swimming in those white shirts. Ten fourteen. Favourite setup for the Japanese. Murayama at the rear court. And I cleaning up at the net. So there's a whip. 15 11. Characteristic that from Petya, normally so reliable on that smash. So there's a whip. 16, 12. 12 minutes, quite quick for women's doubles. Four point advantage. Thank you, Anir Elcheva. Oh yeah, that's where Imogen is so good, wow. coming forward, controlling the space at the net. Took her some time to adapt to women's doubles. Trying to build points and build rallies and wait for the opportunity. As opposed to Min in for the kill in around the net in mixed doubles. Nineteen 
19, 12. Oh, yes, lovely block. Cross court into the open space from Nedelcheva. Good concentration from Bankier. Keeping her eye on the shuttle as it clipped the net coming across. Oh, flat power smash from Murayama. <laughs> so still game point, seven game points still. For Nedelcheva and Bankier. Attack, attack, attack from the Japanese, and okay. then uh, the reactive attack into the open court. Moriyama very, very slow to adapt from the attack into the defense when needed. First game, blank here, and Nedelcheva. So Imogen and Peche already back out on court, ready to go. Well before the allotted time has expired. Having a little look down at the adjoining court. It's Cruz and Robke trailing court against the story of the sisters. Two seconds for two twenty seconds. Second game. Lavo. Play. Again, that raw power from Petya. One now. Very predictable from the rear court from the Japanese. But Marayama is going to come back hard and fast and downward.
Oh yes, wonderful return of serve from Imogen Bank here. Four, one. Anai at the rear now for the Japanese. A little bit more variation in her game from the rear court. I think Pechi and Image are just quite happy to stay back, defend, and then wait for the opening. Three, four. Fast action on the return of serve from Bankier. from Murayama's very flat oh a oh, little bit of luck for Anai the drive into the body of Bankier might have been going out if Bankier hadn't been in the way Apologetic racket in the air from Imogen Bank here. Seven, the four. Japanese getting in each other's way. Chip and charge. Bank your trademark. <laughs> Nine, four. Uh, 
with Petje ducking to get out of the way. Just managing to avoid the shuttle. Landing over the baseline and then almost falling over our camera and the advertising boarding. Good serve from Anai. Ooh. Nedelcheva a little bit off balance, taking the shuttle well behind her. Better variety this time from the Japanese. Oh, yes. And as soon as Bankier senses Nedelcheva on the attack, in around the net. And taking the interception for the winner. Service over, 11, 6, in. Interval lead. 11, 6, the score on the actual screens is uh, slightly behind, but it's interval lead for Bankier Nedelcheva. 26 minutes gone. And I think playing comfortably within themselves. Of course, Imogen played one match already in this semi final state. Successful in the mixed doubles semi final with Robert Blair. Petya defeated early in the singles competition. Quote 2, 20 seconds. Quote 2, 20 seconds. And uh, scoreboard just catching up. 11 6. 11 6. Play. Seven, eleven. Eight. I think the Japanese realizing now that they have to vary the attack. Certainly, the smashes from Moriyama come very flat. There is that return of serve. Deceptive wrist from Bankier. And one feels that it's the women in green who are just toying with their opposition on the opposite side of the net, just doing what they have to do. Let, let. Yeah. let called by the umpire. <laughs> the 
Meanwhile, you'll hear from the round of applause. The match concluded on the other court. It's the story of his sisters who go through to the final. Beating Cruz and Robke of Denmark, who look decidedly out of sorts this week. Oh, nice shot, Mariama. A petia like shot that from this Japanese girl. Another one of these long runnies, Renato Cheva and Bankier. Oh, that's a short lift. Are happy just to Five. settle in defence with a lift too short that time from Eleven, Imogen. Twelve. Japanese still in this, only trading by one. Really close the gap. Trails nine four at one point. And again, 11-8, and now just uh, the deficit, just one solitary point, half an hour gone. Oh! 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 Called in, oh, hesitant call by the line judge. 12, uh, sorry, 13-11. Play. Yuki, shot please. Imogen asking the umpire to ask the Japanese to stop shouting before the call is made. Certainly. It's Yumi. <laughs> Bet you're just telling the Japanese to uh, switch around. We know who's in control in this match. Better smash that time from Moriyama. More angle. Oh, hesitant. 
call from the line judge called that out in 15, quick change of mind 12. to call it in no argument from the Japanese Bolt, bolt receiver, 16, 12. <laughs> Clever play from back here. Oh, man. Toying with their opponents. Making Mariyama move before she played the shuttle. 17, 12. And all of a sudden, light at the end of the tunnel for... Bankier and Nedelcheva, four points away from the final. Great defense from Petya. Such a strong 18, wrist. 12. Soaking up the pressure from the Japanese and putting the shuttle back across almost flat across and then instead of aimlessly lifting it Clever change of angle and attack from the Japanese. Yeah, the punch clear from Anai, certainly catching Petya. A little flat footed. 13, 18. Yeah, please, quick, quick, quick. Was it yeah, it looked like it was going out. I think uh, Imogen disappointed with herself for taking it. A little bit of hesitancy from the Scot. Better smash this time from Mariyama. Steeper angles. 15. Clever from Bankier. Net shot, forcing the lift and getting Nenalcheva back on the attack. Persistence paying off that time for the Japanese, 15, I feel. 18. A lot of effort going into that rally.
1915. Yeah, some technical glitches just with the scoreboards. Missing out on a point, but then tends to catch up on the next point. 16-19. So 16-19 at the moment. Good stretch, good reach from Petya initially. 19. But these Japanese 17, ain't dead yet. 19. 40 minutes just ticking over on the match clock. Still the error on the scoreboard. Yuki. No, I have a. Uh, no. It's seventeen nineteen. Match point 17. 2017. Funny thing on the scoreboard is that the the time, the match time seems to tick over. It's just switched over to 41 minutes. But the actual score is not changing. So it's definitely match point to Bankier and Nedelcheva. And the first time of asking, the Scottish-Bulgarian combination take the match. And it's the first final in a while for Ned Alceva and Bankier, and they'll have to face their old nemesis, the story of his sisters, in tomorrow's final. Two games to love, they win and advance. Match won by Imogen Bankier. Next match on court, Edalceva. men's doubles, Huang and Lu of Chinese Taipei Benz Bas against Bastien Karsodi and Gatan Mittelheiser of France. Stay tuned for that, our final match. But before that, we'll take a quick interview with the winners, Petyanela Cheva and Imogen Bankier. in here but very well done Imogen a controlled match very much from you you pair yeah I think so I think we uh, we had a poor tournament in Poland we wanted to come here and put that right so we were going to the European Championships feeling good and I think we uh, we played a lot better this week a lot more control as you say so delighted to the final you played them before here last year I think you're the only pair that they played twice they've no world ranking but they're better than that they, they're, they're still a difficult pair to beat have a sore right arm tomorrow uh, for sure against the story of his sisters I remember Bulg uh, Belgium and that final it was a crazy final uh, what what can we expect tomorrow Imogen? Well I think Belgium will have a sore arm probably not me so much um, 
But again, yeah, we, we, we played that there a few times and uh, it's been, we've lost some, won some. So for us, we really want to go out there and, uh, and try and play the game. We know we can to take that good feeling into the Europeans. So if we do that, I think we can win tomorrow, but it's going to be hard either way. But happy to be back on track, Petty, after a couple of poor performances. This lifts the confidence going to Europeans. Yeah, actually we are happy and hope in the next one month good preparation and do our best in the European. Girls, well done. That's quite down a bit. Well done. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, terrain numéro 3, demi-finale, homme. Je vous demande s'il vous plaît d'accueillir. Les officiels techniques, Empire, Michel Gould, France.